It's seven in the morning and we have five miles on the schedule for marathon training. Let's get it. Five mile run complete. Honestly, didn't feel too great. It was supposed to feel easy. I went at a pretty slow pace, but my legs. I had my first leg day this past Sunday, which was like two days ago. It was my first leg day in like four weeks. So I'm definitely still sore and I was paying for it on that run. All good though. We can check it off the marathon training plan. But yeah, that was a bit of a struggle. So I'm gonna get some coffee and breakfast in me before I have to head up to my first class and get this day started. And I also just wanna mention officially that this video is being sponsored by Brilliant. Let's get some breakfast. So my first class of the day is microbiology and then I roll right into my chemical kinetics and reactor design class. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next like three hours. And while I'm walking up to the top of campus, I thought I would hand it off to future Lauren to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Hey, it's Lauren from the future here. I'm here to tell you guys all about today's video sponsor, Brilliant.org. On a day-to-day -day basis, I feel like my schedule is absolutely swamped with classwork, lab work, and homework. But I honestly don't mind because I know when I get into bed that night, I learned at least one new thing that day. I believe everyday learning really helps to keep us sharp and also makes the world around us that much more interesting. Some days this task seems impossible with the little time that I have, so that's why I started using Brilliant.org. Brilliant is a website and app that has thousands of different lessons on everything from basic math concepts to artificial intelligence. They have courses on cryptocurrency and even some engineering topics, all with the goal to help you learn interactively. New lessons are added monthly, so you'll never get bored and you can truly reach your goal to learn one new thing every day. You can gradually master topics in as little as 15 minutes, which is about how long you're spending watching this video. It's not that long. I have my spring break next week and I really can't wait to take advantage of the extra time by diving into Brilliant's course on computer computational biology. This is a subject I really wanted to get into, but I've just never been able to find the time or the space in my schedule to fit that class in at my university. So I'm really excited to give it a shot. I know a lot of you guys that watch me are either engineering students or you're studying something in STEM, whether that be chemistry or math, bio. So believe me when I tell you that Brilliant is an excellent way to either dive deeper into a subject that you may be struggling with or to learn something completely brand new. I wouldn't be supporting Brilliant if I didn't believe in their ability to change y'all's lives for the better. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Lauren Abbey. The link is posted right here and it's the first link in the top of the description. The first 200 of you guys to click that link will get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium membership, which would mean you get access to all of their content and knowledge for a little less than a few lattes a month. I don't know about you guys, but that's a great deal. Can't hurt to check it out. As you guys may know, this is my first ever sponsored content, my first ever sponsorship, and I really wanted to make it special for you guys, something that would be meaningful. So please give brilliant.org a shot. Up microbio. It was all about viruses today, so very relevant to today's world. But some friends hey. wanted to say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> We're all walking to our next class together, which is chemical kinetics and reactor design. Super excited. We had an exam last week, so this is our first class back since that exam. Don't know if we'll get them back or any cool. grades back, but we'll see. Yeah, might be a little painful if that happens, but <laughs> should be good either way.
So since I really spoke to you last, I completed both of my classes for the morning and also had some lunch, a really nice burrito bowl that I get pretty much every day because I am a creature of habit. I have one more class later in the day. It starts at 3.30, so I have this nice little break and I think I'm gonna get some work done. So I'm gonna head off to the engineering building and there's a few things that I really have to get done in that time. I have a lab quiz tomorrow in my microbiology lab. So I made a Quizlet, but I wanna really go through and make sure I memorize all the content that I need to. I also have a lab report due in my microbiology lab, but good news is I already finished writing it. So I just have to go over, edit, make sure it's all set and then submit that. And then lastly, I just have to check over my homework for chemical kinetics and reactor design. It's due on Thursday, but I'm done with it. So I'm just gonna check it over one more time and then submit it. So those are the three things that I really wanna get done in the next couple hours. Also, I just got a new laptop, which is really cool. And on like the creative side of things, not academic side, I have an Instagram reel to edit that I filmed during my 14 mile long run from last week. So I really wanna try and use my Mac, just like iMovie to throw that together. Uh, so we'll see if I have time. Obviously the academic stuff is gonna come first right now. because That's what I really have to get done. That's the priority. But if I can explore iMovie a little bit on the laptop, that might be fun. I'm definitely gonna time lapse me studying and going through all this stuff for you guys. For now, let's head to the engineering building. So I've been working for about two hours and I was actually able to finish up the studying for that lab quiz. I also was able to submit my lab report that was due tomorrow and I submitted my homework. So I kind of got done everything academically that I wanted to get done. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to start editing that Instagram reel, but that's okay. I can do that later on tonight. So I'm feeling really good, feeling really productive with what I was able to get done. So now it is time for my last class of the day, which is Current Good Manufacturing Practices or CGMP. It's my only pharmaceutical class for the semester and it's usually pretty chill so I'm excited to get over there. I was also sitting and realizing I never told you guys that we did not in fact get our exams back in my chemical kinetics and reactor design class so didn't want to leave you on a cliffhanger purposely we just we didn't get them back. And last thought before I leave you to go to class I might actually head to the gym tonight literally for like 15 or 20 minutes just to use a foam roller and stretch and roll out. I was sitting up there for like I said two hours. I got up to leave. My legs are so tight and so sore and I have a six mile run on the agenda for tomorrow morning. So that might be happening. I might be going to the gym to get a little mobility done. My CGMP class got out a little bit early and I was able to come to this like common study area and start working on a project that we just got assigned today actually in our chemical kinetics and reactor design class. So I just spent the past like 45 minutes trying to pick out the exact project that I want to do. I think I made some progress but I'm starting to get hungry so I'm gonna head over to the dining hall and actually hop on a zoom review session for the lab quiz that we have tomorrow so I'm figuring I'll like listen to that watch that while I eat but that's all I have planned for right now. My camera's about to die, so the rest of this vlog might be on my phone. Just warning you.
All right, so I just got back from dinner and from the gym. It was super weird trying to roll out in that gym with jeans on. I kind of felt like everyone was looking at me, but it was definitely worth it. It hurt a ton. Hopefully tomorrow my legs will be feeling a little less sore. One can hope. So it is Tuesday night, which means I have my BPN or Bear Performance Nutrition Ambassador call. That's starting here in about 15 minutes and it usually lasts around 45 minutes. That'll take me right to about 8 p.m. It's already getting late for me, but I have a little more studying to do. I just wanna really reinforce all the concepts for the lab quiz tomorrow in my brain. And then after that, it's all relaxation from there. Let's hop on that Zoom call. meeting was really short today and instead of studying for my quiz after I decided to tackle something that's due at the end of March instead like that was the best use of my time yeah definitely good news is that I was able to submit a project proposal for something that's due on March 30th bad news is it's almost eight and I still have to study a little bit for that quiz so I'm gonna give myself a little brain break I'm gonna go take a shower change up and probably get into bed to study this material I don't know I want to be cozy so that's the plan for now. I'm gonna call it there and head to bed. It's been a very productive, very typical day for me. So I'm ready to watch some TikTok, go on Instagram for a little bit, and finally get some sleep. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. Again, visit that top link in the description, brilliant.org slash Lauren Abbey to check out Brilliant and everything it has to offer. Stay happy, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.